Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a date object to a numeric time object in R. So in the video I'm going to use the example date object that we can create with line one of the code. So if you run this code you will see that a new object appears here at the top right. And by running line two of the code we will also see how this date object looks like here at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, it's simply showing the date of today. So today is the 23rd of August 2019. And uh, the time is 10.45.15. So um, if we want to convert this date object to a numeric object, we can use the library date package. I have uh, installed the package already, so I don't need to install it again, but you could install it on your computer with line 5 of the code. And then you also need to load the package to R, which can be done with line 6 of the code. So if you run this code, you can see that the package is loaded. And within this package, we have several functions that can handle date objects such as the functions that you can see here in line 8, 9, and 10 of the code. So in line 8 of the code, we can extract the time of um, our date object. So uh, in this case, uh, the time is 10 hours, um, because, because you can see here um, this 10 is extracted. With line 9 of the code, we can extract the minute, so 45 in this case. And with line 10, we can extract the seconds, so 15 seconds in this case. So this is quite straightforward, but of course, we could also do computations with these functions. So if we want to know the hours of our date object, then we could do that with line 12 of the code. So here I'm simply taking the hours plus the minutes divided by 60, plus the seconds divided by 3600. And this is converting our date object into a numeric object that is reflecting the number of hours of our date object. So in this case, as you can see here below in the RStudio console, the converted hours would be 10.75417. Yeah, we could do the same um, if we want to know the minutes of our date object and uh, this could be done with line 16 of the code. And if you run line 17, you will see here at the bottom in the RStudio console that our time object, our date object um, was converted to 645 minutes and 25.25. And uh, here in line 20 of the code, we could convert the time object, the date object, to seconds. And uh, as you can see here, after running line 21 of the code, the date object corresponds to 38,715 seconds. Yeah, so that's basically how to convert date objects to a numeric time object in R and how to do computations with date objects. However, if you want, want to learn more about this topic, you could also check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on this topic. And in this tutorial, I'm describing the code of this video in more detail. And uh, I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of this video. So in case you want to check it out, you can find the link there. Also, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and if you give me thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications about new releases on the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot and see you next time. Bye bye.